You want to read to Reggie? Where's the book? Inside this library, Pigeon has a finds a hot dog. Dog tails. You should really take on a whole new meaning. Oh, it's it's fantastic. As a librarian, you want children to fall in love with reading. That is not my name. Twice a month, a green dress. Elementary schoolers who are learning to read or timid about doing it out loud, going to bite the dog, can practice on therapy dogs like this one from a sheriff's office. Take a nap. Good job. Unlike classmates, Reggie won't laugh if you get stuck on a word, but will help you sniff it out. Sleep well, dog. Patient. Thank you, book. Not pushy. Good job. Mason, a second grader who's more of a singer. A B C D. The trash. Then reader says Reggie is the perfect practice partner. Listen to me and like, like try to listen. Try to look my hand. The best person to read to. <laughs> this week is the first time his mom brought him to Dog Tales. Yeah, it was a really cool one. My name is Max. It won't be the last. Oh yeah, we'll be here every week. <laughs> Librarians say seeing the kids' potential unleashed Cheese bird. is special. A while back, we had a little boy in here, and he was reading to the dog, and he just looked up at the dog, and he said, "You're my best friend." And it was the cutest story because here's this kid who was struggling to read and all of a sudden he's reading because he gets a chance to read with his best friend. Of course, enjoy. Friendly, furry, effective for a reading program that started 15 years ago. Am I supposed to do? 19,000 kids later. Pretty smart for a duckling. There are no plans to turn the page yet. Holony Davis. Here you go, Daphne. Thank you. WPTV. Great job.